let's take a look at the government sentencing memorandum for these two J6 brothers. It begins with a quote from Daniel Page Adams. It was a fight at the beginning. Me and my cousin led the charge. We were the first ones in. Cousins, Cody, Connell, and Daniel Adams did indeed lead the charge of the rioters on the northwest sides of the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. They opened the northwest stairs, harnessing the mob and assaulting outnumbered officers until they retreated. They opened the Senate wing doors, becoming two of the first rioters to enter the Capitol, and they opened a path into the seat of government that hundreds of other rioters used the rest of that day to halt the transfer of presidential power. They knew the role they played. They also presented a danger moving forward. Connell planned to return to DC with firearms and body armor on Inauguration Day. And he was not going home unless it was in a body bag. They were both arrested on January 16th. Following a stipulated bench trial on July 28th, the court convicted both defendants of the violations. As explained below, the government has calculated Connell's advisory guidelines range at 46 to 57 months and Adam's range from 51 to 63. The government recommends that this court sentence both Adam Connell and Daniel Adams to 51 months of incarceration, three years of supervised release, $2,000 in restitution, and a mandatory assessment of $360. Such sentences would be sufficient but not greater than necessary to reflect the seriousness of the defendant's conduct while also acknowledging their acceptance of responsibility. 51 months for leading the charge, but they get that because they admit they were responsible. That's what the government wants. They're probably going to get less. But before we go into anything else, let's see what Trump is doing right now. You know, the guy they went to J6 over. This was retweeted by Donald Trump. Now, this is how Cody Page Carter Connell, the one with the body armor and the weapons plan to go to the inauguration, this is what he is using for his defense. Well, his sentencing. I live at blank with my 11-year-old daughter, blank. Start, I would like to express great remorse for my actions made on January 6, 2021 at the United States Capitol. Among those affected by my decisions include, but are not limited to, the police officers who dedicate their lives, protect, and serve their citizens. I should not have behaved that way. My decision to go to the Capitol and my actions took place at a time when I was focused on the election and problems I was hearing about how it was handled. In hindsight, I did not think about uh, think enough about how what I was doing was wrong. I also understand how the impact of my decisions made that day have had on not only my life, but those that love and care for me. My only focus now is caring for my daughter and supporting her financially. A glimpse into my childhood includes an abusive and drug alcohol addicted mother, along with an absent father. I spent most of my childhood living with many different family members after my parents divorced when I was four years old. My mother was very abusive towards my siblings and I, not only when inebriated, but sober as well. I have faced a difficult childhood learning who I am, who I want to be, I want to not be, and how to navigate life without my parents. For employment, I am a surface technician at Petroland Surfaces in Shreveport, Louisiana. I have been employed with this company for one year and three months. I spent most of my adult life working in the oil field. I am a hardworking, dedicated, and knowledgeable employee. I have had sole physical custody of my 11-year-old daughter for 15 months now due to my, her mother's previous and current incarceration on multiple charges but not limited to drug charges. My concerns are mainly for the well-being of my child. If both of her parents are to be incarcerated at the same time, her mother cannot provide a stable living environment. As she has proved in the past, I am able to provide my daughter with all of her needs along with once. I have even gone to the lengths of therapy for my daughter to help her process the trauma she's faced in her short life. My plans for the future include continuing to be a positive role model to my daughter. I will continue to work at my job as a surface technician with the ultimate goal of opening up a food truck and eventually buying several acres of land to build a family home. I have accepted responsibility for the role I played on January 6, 2021 
at the United States Capitol, and I humbly ask for the letters written to be taken into consideration as you make your ruling on sentencing today. There is also a letter submitted to the court. It's now public from his girlfriend, but I'm not going to go through that one as well. So, what do you think? Should he go to jail? How many months should he be in prison? 